Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a eyeshadow tutorial, makeup tutorial using the Maybelline The City Mini Palette. City Mini <laughs> Palette. I asked you guys in my last tutorial where I use this if you all would like to see another tutorial with this using some of the gold shades. So that's what I did for you guys today. If you would like to see how to do this, just keep on watching and I'm going to go ahead and get into the tutorial. So I went ahead and applied my foundation and concealer, powder, and filled in my brows. And I also went ahead and primed my eyelids with my Milani eyeshadow primer. And the reason why I went ahead and did my foundation and everything first is because I'm doing a first impression week review on the Sally Hansen airbrush face makeup. So if that video is up, I will link that down below if you want to see my thoughts on this. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. Like I showed you guys in the intro, I'm just going to be using this Maybelline The City Mini Palette in Rooftop Bronzes. But before I go in with this, I'm going to use my bronzer, my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, as my crease color just because this doesn't have like a good matte mid-tone brown in this palette. And I'm just going to be using my Sigma E40 Blending Brush to apply this color here in the crease of my eye. And I'm just pointing the brush kind of upwards like this and just blending it here in the crease. Next, I'm just going in with the Sigma Pencil E30 brush and getting some more of this bronzer on this brush. And I'm just going to run the shade here on the lower lash line, just connecting it to the crease color. I'm just putting that color here on the Sigma E70 brush. And I'm just going to place that shade here in the inner corner and on the first half of my eyelid. I want to intensify this color a little more, so I'm going to get some more of the shade here on this brush. And then I'm just going to lightly spray the brush with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And using a makeup setting spray like that will just help to intensify the eyeshadow because it's like using it wet. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this gold shade down here and my e.l.f. concealer brush. And I'm just gonna get some of this color here on this brush and then I'm just gonna mist the brush with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray just to intensify this gold as well. And then I'm just gonna pat that gold next to this lighter gold. And I'm just gonna take it over to about right here and then that last little part of my eyelid I'm going to leave free because I'm going to put a different shade there. And I'm just getting some more of that gold here on the tip of this brush. And I'm just going to put that color right here. And then I'm going to go in with this brown up here with my Sigma concealer brush. And I'm just going to pat the shade first just right out here and I'm going to get some more of this color here on the tip of this brush and then I'm just going to run some of it right down here trying to get the shape down first and then I'll go back and blend. I'm just going in with like this clean elf blending brush. Just kind of going over the colors and just blending that out. And then I am going to go in with a little bit more of that shade on this elf blending brush or crease brush. And I'm just going to blend the crease a little more. And I will have to probably go in with some concealer and kind of clean up because I am getting a little bit of fallout and I feel like the color got down a little too far. Like it would probably be a little bit more ideal to do this eyeshadow look before you do your foundation and everything, which I probably would have done that today if I wasn't doing that first impression on this foundation. Okay, next I'm going to try to just go in with like a dual fiber brush and just kind of brush off as much of the fallout as I can. And then I'm just going in with this L'Oreal Lift CC under eye concealer and I'm just going to run that right here to try to clean up. Just 
just gonna use that to kind of sharpen the edge of this eyeshadow up as well. Like I said, it would just be a lot more ideal to do this before you do your foundation. Just because you could clean that up with like a makeup wipe or you could use shadow shields or something, which maybe that's what I should have done. I should have used shadow shields today, but oh well. Then I'm just going in with the Sigma P88 brush and I'm just gonna lightly go over the edge just to kind of blend it out so it doesn't look so harsh. Next for my liner, I'm just going in with this L'Oreal Lacquer Liner, Infallible um, Lacquer Liner in Espresso. It's just a really, really dark brown. And I'm just using my Essence Angled Brush to apply this liner, this gel liner. And then today I'm just going to be wearing these false lashes, the Kiss Number 11s. So then on my lower lashes, I'm just going in with my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. And I apologize if you guys can hear any like hammering. Um, I have some new neighbors that moved in below me and I guess they're hanging up some pictures. So I apologize if you can hear that in the video. For my contour, I'm just going to go in with my NARS Laguna Bronzer. I'm just about out of this. <laughs> and I'm just going to use my Real Techniques um, Sculpting Brush. I'm just going to put that right back here. I love this sculpting brush for contouring. It works so great. And then for my bronzer, I'm just going in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. And I'm just using my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. And I'm just going to put that kind of a little bit above where I put the contour. Just to kind of blend it out. And to warm up my face some more. take a little bit of it up here in my temples and then for my blush I'm gonna use an old favorite I haven't used this blush in a long time this is my NYX blush in terracotta and I'm just using my elf blush brush my elf angled blush brush to apply this such a beautiful warm summer blush color or even fall, it's a really pretty color for fall as well. I just was looking through my blushes and I saw this and I was like, ah, oh, I should use that today. And then for my highlight, I'm also breaking out another old favorite and this is the Hard Candy Baked Bronzer in Tiki, which it's not a bronzer, it's a highlight. And I'm just gonna use my contour brush from Real Techniques to apply this to my cheekbones. But this highlight is such a beautiful gold highlight. It's like a lighter gold. If you wanted like a darker gold color, I would say go with this Milani um, Sun Sun Glow highlight, or also the Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch highlight is really pretty. Like if you want a darker, stronger gold color, or Champagne Pop if you wanted to go like a high end route. Put a little bit here on my nose, right down the center of my face. And then for my lips today, I'm gonna use this. This is a new favorite lip color for me. Like I've just been in love with this. This is one of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash lipsticks. And this is in the shade Beach Babe, which it's a beautiful mauve nude pink. It's so pretty. I mean, with this go to eyeshadow look, you could do red lips or you could really do any lip color that you'd like with this just because golds are so like neutral and you could do any lip color with them. But I'm just going to do nude today. You guys know how much I love my nude lips. And I'm going to be lining my lips with my Rimmel Lip Liner in Tiramisu. I 
And then I'm just going in with Tarte Beach Babe. And with this lipstick color, it's not super shiny and it's not super matte. It's kind of in between. But once it's been on your lips for a little bit, I do kind of feel like it dries down a little bit to like a matte finish. It can be a little drying, but not too bad. And I do find that this lipstick lasts for a long time. So yeah, I'm just in love with this. And like I told you guys in my haul video, I love the packaging on this lipstick. I just think it is so, so pretty. I love this color blue and I love how it has like that marble effect to it. Okay guys, so that is what this makeup looks like completed, like up close so you guys can see it. My chair is so squeaky. <laughs> I need to get a different chair. I really like this look. I think it's such a beautiful look for summer or fall. It's just beautiful. I love golds. Or this would also be a really pretty look for the holidays. I know we're not quite there yet. Not there at all. Which it's hard to believe, but I guess Thanksgiving will be here in like a couple of months, which that's crazy. But yeah, this would be a good look for the holidays as well. So just so you guys can see this side. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know to film more makeup tutorials for you guys. And yeah, I guess if you all have any other suggestions of what other makeup looks you guys would like to see me do, let me know down in the comments. And I know <laughs> I told you guys I was going to film that dramatic wedding makeup tutorial, which I will film at some point. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to film it yet, but I will film it soon. Maybe I can film it sometime this fall since, you know, it's like if you got married in the fall, you'd want to do more of a dramatic makeup look then. So I hope that you guys have a great week or that you're having a great week. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.